Hello everybody, can you guess what time it is? If you guessed it's time for another still frame review, you can read! Today's movie comes by suggestion of my friend Nathaniel, or Nate as he's known online. He wanted to know my thoughts on Disney's latest animated princess movie, Raya and the Last Dragon. Released back in March after getting delayed by the cough cough, Raya and the Last Dragon is a pretty original film for the Disney canon. While not based on any one particular country, it is kind of a fantasy mishmash of a bunch of different Southeastern Asian cultures into this magical fantasy land called Kamundra. And Kamundra has been taken over by these uh, purple ball things that represent bad stuff and then there were these dragons that it's kind of complicated but the point is there's this gym that's somehow going to get rid of the purple bad things but then the gym gets broken into five pieces and the five different tribes in Kamundra each take a piece and then Rhea goes through the different parts of Kamundra trying to gather all the different pieces with the assistance of the last dragon Sisu and that was a pretty bad summary but the movie does a decent job of actually making it make sense so I always like to start off with the positive what's good about this movie well first off while most of the parts were done decently I really liked Aquafina's voice acting as Sisu the last dragon I think she really gave that role a lot of personality I like how the directors went even further with the Asian culture thing and not just the set dressing but also the way the movie was filmed emulating a lot of different Asian film styles. Now the film was supposed to be Southeastern Asia like Singapore, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, etc, etc. But the only styles I could pick out were Chinese martial arts and Japanese anime and Hong Kong indie art but you know it's, it's the thought that counts I guess. I don't know maybe there is some Southeastern Asia style that I was completely missing I haven't really seen any Southeastern Asian films not even sure if any exist I haven't bothered to look it up so if you happen to know of any good Southeastern Asian films let me know but anyway back to Raya and the Last Dragon I like the music James Newton Howard knocks it out of the park again I was just last week talking about how I liked his work on Atlantis Lost Empire and he has been able to update his style and make a pretty good score for a 2021 film the film also looks nice. The production design is really imaginative and the world building is very unique. It looks like a really fun place to explore. I like the sun. Somehow they always make it look warm and nice. I don't know, just something I picked out. I like the sun. I also like the film emulation they do throughout the animation. Though you may not be able to see it here on YouTube, but there is film grain. I know Pixar has been doing that for the last couple of their movies, but this may be the first time I've seen this in a Disney movie. Okay, that's enough stalling. Let's get to the bad stuff. Uh, this movie feels really cliche. You know last week I was talking about Atlantis the Lost Empire and how it was a mix of cliches and tropes. Well this movie since it already has such unique production design and genre mishmashing there's no room for any tropes so all you're left with is a bunch of cliches and it permeates the entire movie. I was not really interested in it until near the third act and even then it was still filled with things I knew would already happen because I'd already seen it a million gajillion times already. This movie has all the markings of someone who had a really really strict outline when they were writing it and they just could not make the characters do anything differently than they had already pre-planned way back in the beginning. So we don't really see any of the characters make any choices. Nothing feels earned as we move from one plot point to the other. We don't really get to know these characters and the characters don't really get to know each other. They're just along for the ride and we don't know why except that the plot needs them to be there by the end. There's no flowing cohesion throughout the piece. We're all just checking off the boxes making sure we got everything in place by the climax. And as a consequence the only thing you can do is fill the empty spaces with cliches. The plot is very paint by the numbers even down to the jokes. The jokes never land except for this one joke. Also, you broke the gem. I still have a big chunk of it, though. Is that supposed to make me feel better? If you lost a puppy and I said, well, we still have a big chunk of it, would that make you feel better? That's pretty much the only point in the movie I actually laughed. Everything else is just punchlines to 
other movies and there's no setup that earns that subversion and makes me laugh. This is just a point, oh, this character is acting serious, so they need to say something like, oh, I have a plan or something, and then this character says, oh, you have no idea what you're doing, and you know, it's nothing feels real. It's all just hollow, cliche, Hollywood imitation. Now, it's not an entirely bad movie, but I wouldn't consider it a good movie either. So taking that into consideration and considering my penchant for a thematic alliteration in my scoring phase, I'm going to give Raya and the Last Dragon a D. Four dragons. It's meh. Now, I'll watch it if it's on, but I'm never going to purposefully seek out to watch it again myself. I'm not particularly disappointed. I knew this was the direction modern Disney princess movies were going to go. It just feels pretty soulless. Now, I know the critics really liked it this time around, so I'm glad that I have my own unique opinion apart from everyone else, but I'm hoping that this is going to start to mark the end of Disney's most modern phase, and maybe we can move into something more along the lines of the Disney Renaissance or Golden Age or something like that. I don't know. We shall see. Those were my thoughts on Raya and the Last Dragon. What were your thoughts on Raya and the Last Dragon? Did you think it was pretty meh, like me, or did you really like it? Let me know, and also let me know of any other films or television shows that you'd like me to review. The hopper's empty right now, so if you get a suggestion, you're gonna be first in line. Although I may just want to review something of my own choosing. We'll see. But that's it for now. See you later.